Welcome to CC Rock, I'm Metal Matt, and this month we have something really cool. We have got a little bit of Southern Rock in at the Concord Pavilion. We've got Molly Hatchet, Marshall Tucker, and of course, the devil went down to Georgia, Charlie Daniels. So sit back, relax, and take it easy, because we have the Southern Rock sounds for the next half hour. Stay tuned. Welcome back to CC Rock, and I am lucky enough to be joined by Bobby Ingram, lead guitarist, Molly Hatchet. How we doing? How you been, man? How oh, I'm doing? doing good. It's been a stressful day getting here, I'll tell you. Yeah, Saturdays is. with kids are tough. <laughs> <laughs> you got any kids? I don't, but I'm happily married, you know. Oh, I've been man. For about six years now, you know, and, and uh, still living uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. Well, I tell you, that, all that good water down there makes all this good southern rock come out, I think, doesn't it? Well, it's something in the water, and I think they've been saying that for years, you know. So um, I, I think that's where we're headed with this uh, this whole tour. You know, it's been going really good with, uh, with Charlie and uh, uh, Marshall Tucker and going coast to coast with this thing, and it's, it's, uh, it's really coming out strong. Well, that, that, that leaves me a big subject, because, I mean, this tour is the kind of the kickoff, in a sense, of the big tours of the summer. I mean, Marshall Tucker, Charlie Daniels, and yourself. I mean, how's it going? It's going great. You know, we started about three weeks ago, and we've already covered the uh, southeast United States, and uh, we went to Virginia, and then we deadheaded all the way to Boise, Idaho, and then we're out here in California now. So things are going really good with it. We're going to do uh, uh, Southern California, and then it's back all the way to uh, the northeastern United States. So have you hit any cold weather on the way over? Well, we did a little bit in Idaho, you know. And listen, we're Florida boys, so we, you know, we were coming in with our short pants and uh, Bermuda shirts on, you know. And uh, we hit a little bit, but it's it's uh, it's been pretty good mostly. And you got a new one out there, the Silent Reign of Heroes. Tell me a little about this. I know it's on CMC International. Yeah, What's it about? CMC, man. I, I, t I got to tell you, we played Raleigh uh, last week, and and the entire record company came out. And how many times has the entire label come out to see a group, you know? And and it's been like a family, you know, with those guys. And uh, this is the second album that we've done since 96, Devil's Canyon 96, Silent Rain of Heroes last year. We were on the second leg of this, of this big world tour, 18-month world tour. We recorded it over in Germany, you know, and that's where our, our parent label is, uh, SPV over there. And uh, we've already been all through Europe on this, on this uh, first leg, and now we're here in the United States, and uh, things are going really strong with that. Well, how do you compare the European world of rock and roll and you know southern rock compared to here? Listen, I think there's there's a common bond with this southern rock thing going on, you know, all all across the uh, the world. But um, um, actually, it's a little bit different than the United States. You know, there's a big uh, there's a big network over there. You know, there's a big magazine uh, network that goes on, and you know, you can do something, uh, play a show up in Hamburg. They know about that actually later that night. You know, down in southern Germany. You know, it's it's. Uh, it's pretty intense, and, and everybody gets into it over there. So, 
So how are things going on the, on this tour right now with Charlie Daniels? Is he fun to play around? I mean, is oh, he, you, you see him backstage and hang out? Yeah, absolutely. He's great, man. He really is. And, and uh, uh, we feel really fortunate to be, um, you know, on, on Charlie's team right now. And, and uh, you know, we've known him for many, many years. And, you know, he's a, he's a, um, he, he's a, he's a class act. I mean, hands down, you know. Now, now, flirting with disaster. This is back what, 1970? What was that? 79. 79. You guys went multi platinum with this album. How are you going to play that song tonight? We're going to do it, man. <laughs> Listen, I don't think they'll let us off the stage if we don't do flirting with disaster, you know? back again and I am lucky, very lucky to have Doug Gray, lead singer for Marshall Tucker Band. How you doing, Doug? I, I don't know if it's luck or not, man. <laughs> we'll find it's out in a minute. Fun. Yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> we just keep on going down the road, you know? Well, well, like I said, you're going down the road. This is a big tour. I mean, you guys have been going on. How long have you guys been on the road for? Uh, this particular time, it's been about uh, two and a half weeks. And so, uh, you know, it's two and a half weeks is nothing to somebody stays on the road 200 days a year. And with us and Charlie and uh, it's, you got to understand where we come from. Charlie played on the first seven records. Mm -hmm. We were all comfortable together. He went out and toured with us, and, and then all of a sudden, Charlie just flapped. There he was. He's back out on the road. He's headlining and stuff. And we all played good songs together, and a lot of people appreciate that. And so now it's like a, it's like a bunch of guys, you know, like we've been acting here tonight. You know, it's a bunch of guys get together, a bunch of women get together. Hi, hi, hi. Having a good time up there. And we do have a wonderful time, yeah. yeah well, I must say that Molly Hatchett, Marshall Tucker, and now Charlie Daniels, you guys really mesh well as a mm -hmm. concert goes. I mean, nice package. And how did this all come about? Uh, last year in Hartford, Connecticut, uh, some of the people saw us put that show together, and we had like 19,000 people at one place, and everybody freaked. And so it just so happened that we had all of our office and, and everything, and all the promoters were all there, and they said, well, this is a good idea. So we did it, and we come out to a lot of venues that normally wouldn't associate with Charlie and us and mm -hmm. and things you know because we play a lot of clubs still and yeah we do the we do the Monday through Thursday club thing you know and it, it's realistic you know hell you can't always be out there 28 years later I'm still here and uh, you know I might not sound as good as I once did mm -hmm. but I'm still gonna kick ass but what about the resurgence I mean like there's a lot of bands out there this is the this summer I must say is the resurgence of the 70s and 80s with the if I've, ever, if I've ever seen before this is it yeah oh what you, what you got is a lot of guys still with the same haircuts, you know. <laughs> same spandex, right? Yeah, same. Not me. You want? I never wore it to begin with because it shows too much, you know. I don't want to excite anybody. But, uh, <laughs> but no, it's it it is that. It's it's a lot of the same thing. But as you look at at music the way it is right now, um, I think there's a reason that we're popular in a lot of areas because a lot of people our age. 
are coming back and they just want that one chance to go out and relive the special memories that we gave them years and years ago and they haven't had a chance in the last 10 years because they've been putting their kids through college yeah, you know I'm getting there <laughs> well so am I you yeah. know I mean I'm 51 years old in a couple of days you oh, know boy. and so I mean I'm just lucky to still be alive and, and going on down the road but the fact is is these people still come out and they enjoy us us and Charlie I mean next year you know what it's it's probably going to be us and the Almond Brothers and, and Charlie and we do all these shows because there's there's a demand. Right now we're going to get Phil from Molly Hatchet to come out and sing a little bit with me, all right? Thank you very much for being so kind to our band for so long, especially tonight. Just got there, face down the blues, and you told me this is on. This is that being distributed by KTEL. It's being distributed by KTEL. It's on, uh, it's on one of their labels, AJK, and um, they just presented us uh, within six months ago an, another platinum record. Holy so holy. you know th these these people, we've been with them for quite a long time, and a lot of people say, you know, that, you know, KTEL, but they don't know that these guys are out there. We keep stuff in the bins, and we're not as you know, we're not a main force. You know, we're not Aerosmith. Smith, we're not Warner Brothers, we're not all these different people, but we st they keep us out there, and you know, you just don't keep building business that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, if I could blink my eyes and say, let's go back and just getting up here singing and acting a fool, mm -hmm. worse than what I, I am tonight, that'd be a different story. But this is this is wonderful to be on a label like that because they do care. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, the great thing about this whole tour, I must say, everybody I've met, Charlie Daniels and the guys from Molly Hatchet, everybody's so down to earth and mm -hmm. so Southern hospitality, I must say. This yeah. is like, it makes this show, I've done some shows with some Europeans. Yeah. I didn't want to go there, the European <laughs> side. But this is this is definitely something neat. Now, Habitat for Humanity, this is something else you guys have been yeah. kind of involved in. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, one of the things is we care a lot about, we were looking for that one source 
to put some of the money into. And when that happened, it, you know, the Habitat, because of the, our association with Jimmy Carter in the mm -hmm. 70s, uh, and uh, we, we, the one big thing, we went to Europe right in the 70s after we helped Jimmy Carter get elected and doing all those benefits. And we went over there and they called us the peanut band because of Jimmy Carter, okay? And I couldn't, we could never shake that. But, uh, you know, it, it's just a wonderful thing and that's what he does and that's that's what we do. And it, it's all a little, it's all a little ball of wax. So Jimmy got you guys into this? No, not really. Uh, what happened is I think Charlie knew the people. Those people are very good and they're responsive and you know, you know it's what money that they earn and what we get out here and earn for them it's going to be turned into somebody's place you know and that's Good feeling downside oh yeah well you know i i, I wish somebody could build me a house <laughs> CC Rock, and like I said, we are with the man, Charlie Daniels himself. How you doing, Charlie? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming. Well, I'll tell you, this has been a great show so far. You know, Molly Hatchett, Marshall Tucker, and now in a little while, you can be up on stage there. How has the tour gone so far? The tour's gone really good so far, and the way it came about was last year, uh, one of the promoters we'd been working for for a long time wanted to put together some of the southern bands and try some dates, so we did a couple things last year, and it worked out real well with Marshall Tucker and Molly Hatchett, and uh, he wasn't taking on tour this year and do about 34 dates. So we said, okay, uh, let's call it Volunteer Jam. And we'll kind of surround it with uh, Volunteer Jam type stuff. And we've, we've, uh, we're have we've not able to procure guests or, or multiple guests everywhere we go, but we've had pretty good luck so far with uh, some of the places we've been. And uh, the other night uh, in uh, Carolina, we had, uh, oh, we had Ricky Medlock from Leonard Skinner and we had uh, Jimmy Hall from uh, Wet Willie. And, uh, in Nashville the other night, we had, gosh, we had, we had Red Akins, we had uh, a bit of Ray Cyrus, we had uh, Leroy Parnell and, and Garth Brooks, and you know, just a, of course that's Nashville, yeah. and it's easier oh, yeah. to get people yeah. to come there. But that's kind of the spirit of the thing. And if we're in a in a town and somebody's around, that uh, want to do a little jamming, huh? Right, we're always glad to have them. Looking for love 
Yeah. Your new album, Tailgate Party. It's got some live stuff. It's got some covers. Tell me a little about it. Tailgate Party is an album that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's the culmination of an idea that uh, I wanted to pay tribute to some of the bands, especially the ones we work with, Allman Brothers Band and Marshall Tucker and Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top. And, and then we kind of expanded it and uh, took up some bands. Basically, it's a tribute to bands from the South, and with the South starting in El Paso, Texas, in the West uh, to Richmond, Virginia, in the East. So <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we got Hootie and the Blowfish, we got, uh, gosh, George. Of satellite, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and songs that uh, some of my favorite songs of theirs that, that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Now I know you're you're at 62. Is that correct? Now for 62 up there jamming on stage, is it in the water or what? What's going on? Is it North Carolina water? <laughs> I just love what I do. I thoroughly enjoy what I do. I'm addicted to entertaining people, and I love being on stage. And I, you know, I think. I think one of the things about, uh, I think, age to some extent is a state of mind. I think a state of mind can really be enhanced by doing something that you like to do. Like me, it horrifies me to think about retiring. I can't stand the thought of retiring. And, uh, you know, my band, I just, I love getting on stage playing with my band. And that kind of, you know, kind of keeps me going, kind of keeps me, you know, kind of, to keep up with them, I got to be cooking. So. <laughs> the devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> Across this young man, saw him fiddling and playing hot, and the devil jumped up on the hickory stump and said, Boy, let me tell you what. You probably need to but I'm a fool of hair, too. And if you carry to take it there, I'll just make a bit for you. Now you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but this is you, the devil is you. I bet this fiddle of gold against your soul is the guy I'm better than you. Boy, said, My name's Johnny. It might be a sin. I'm gonna take that bet. You're gonna regret because I'm the best ever been. Johnny, you was an old pretty boy to play your fiddle hard. Cause I spoke in St. George and the devil of Jesus Christ And if you can stand it, then you may go Please, the devil will get you some The devil will let his Christian side start to show fire We can finish and make quits and all of them go away Something you love, I think, habitat for habitat for humanity. I mean, this is something you're really big on. Tell me a little about it. Well, habitat for humanity. I was, I had, I known about them, and I had actually, I knew what they did, but I had not seen them in action until we decided to affiliate this tour with them. I've been out to some presentations, about three of them. And when you look at the smiles on the faces of people who otherwise would probably not be able to get a home at least for a long time, uh, it's, it's really gratifying. One lady said the other day in uh, a somewhat place we were at, the lady was receiving the keys, said, I've moved six times since last May and I ain't going to move no more. And that means she's got a home. <laughs> 
a real home that belongs to her. She's got the keys to it. You know, she lives there with her family, and, and it's just it's a great thing for people to be able to have a place called home. Well, all these guys, Marshall Tucker, Molly Hatchett, you guys are all involved in this now, right? This whole this whole tour, yes, is uh, we're affiliated with the uh, Habitat for Humanity. Well, it must feel to get, feel great to give back. I mean, especially after all these years of having, you know, stardom, and, you know, the devil went down to Georgia. I mean, tell, tell me a little bit, how did that song ever come about? I wish I had some really good tale to tell you about it, but I don't. It was just, we were doing an album called uh, Me and My Reflection and we didn't have a fiddle song. Why we didn't decide that before we went into the studio, I don't know, but we didn't. And we were in the studio recording. We had no fiddle tune. We said, let's go write one. So we went out and wrote Devil Went Down to Georgia. That's the long and short of it. I wish I had some tale to tell you about it, but I really don't. I'll tell you, amazing music, amazing stuff you created over the years. I mean, it's amazing that 62, doing all these great things. I'll tell you, it's great to have you on CC Rock. Wait, 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 what do you see me when I'm 65? Well, yeah, what is the future of Charlie Daniels? I mean, what's going to happen? It's more the same. Just, uh, you know, making records and, and playing concerts. That's what we do. We're already started planning tours for next year. Really? Another, another uh, volunteer? Possibly another volunteer jam. They want us to do, to do it again, and we probably will. We're missing a lot of venues this year. We're only touring eight weeks this year, so we're missing some venues. So we'll probably go back and pick some of them up la next year and then pick up some of the ones we didn't do and plus do some of the ones that we did do. So, uh, and, uh, you know, it's time for me. I've been writing, uh, I've been actually playing uh, kind of recycle the music, some of our old stuff that we've re-recorded and, and some things that we've been releasing here for the last good little while. And it's time for me to, to do an album of new music, so that's the next thing we're going to do as far as a secular album is concerned. I may, may do another gospel album before then, but I'm ready to write some new music and record it. Well, that concludes our interview with Charlie Daniels, Marshall Tucker, and Molly Hatchett. As you can see, I've got a little bit of Southern rock here. i got a couple friends over here. Come on, guys, get over here, man. These guys, they are here from the, for some Southern rocking, and we are going to say goodbye from the Cocker Pavilion. So, did you guys enjoy the show tonight? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good yeah, stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's kick, yeah. kicking some butt tonight at the Cocker Pavilion. It's going to keep coming and coming and coming all summer long with maybe Journey, Foreigner, Scorpions. Who knows, maybe even Motley Crue. So hang with us. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah! <laughs>